Cool. You want to give the, cra the people watching some tips? Is anyone going to watch? <laughs> Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Nice I'm you. Laura. Come on, nice to meet you. I'm Jack and Jane's daughter. Nice Hello, you. nice to meet you. Welcome to Thank the home. You. This is awesome. It's really nice. I'll give you a nice little tour and then I'll be out of here. Cool. cool. This house is unfreaking believable. Like you walk in and realize we're here for two less amount of time. Look at this. This is the living room. Just unbelievable. Look at it. Kitchen, right? Really nice. One of the bedrooms to take a look at. This is, I think, the master bedroom. Kids kind of, kids bedroom. Here you have the main bedroom. I'm gonna step outside. Just look at this, look at this, wow. It's a friggin' pool, it's beautiful. This whole area that you're seeing right now, the whole thing is theirs. This whole land, you can play cricket, soccer, bring family, do what the sh whatever you wanna do. To make things better, for the colden days, you also have a hot tub. You actually have a freaking downstairs area. Check it. Look at it. This is the downstairs area. And you got a little darker pool table, hot air hockey. Um, if you got kids, you can bring them here as well. Check out one thing outside. So yeah, just. Awesome. <laughs> so I want to make you be the man who organizes the trips. This is Omar. He's the one who does everything. Like, Killed it. There you go. It's going to be hard to top off for next year. <laughs> Hassan is always willing to help out with the groceries, get the stuff done. I just bring the camera. And also, I, I'm the one who comes here all the way, so I make them do this. Correct? Yeah. They don't even they don't hang out when I'm not here. <laughs> we got in the pool, boys. Uh, it's cold. The water is actually definitely cold. But uh, when else do you get to do this? Look at it. I got to show it to you. It's like the sun is out, uh, and it's uh, the sun is out. It's salt water too. So I'm definitely cold, but uh, yo, can't, can't. You gotta just enjoy this, man. Guys, we're gonna play some cricket. I gotta show you this freaking guy at the outside. Look at this, look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at this. So I roasted um, garlic bulbs, okay. then I roasted some jalapenos, and then I slowly what do you mean you roasted? like I roasted them in the oven. What do you mean? What do you it's, mean roasted? Like legit. You know, it's like a comedy thing where you just like make fun of the jalapenos and. <laughs> okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put truffle oil. Ooh, that's a secret ingredient. Yo, I need you to do the same thing with the truffle, but you need to do it slowly. So slow. Um, everything is doing pretty much I've kind of always been his mentor when it comes to cooking. And it's I'm so proud to see him like kind of thrive right now. Uh, the burgers look legit. Essen, where are you, bro? Burgers look legit, bro. Good job, man. Yo, you gotta do the cut in half, like, no shirt style, bro. Yo, yeah, drop the... Yeah, like, sprinkles on the skin. Omar, she's yelling at me, it's, a, it's hot, hot. Omar got married recently. Ever since then. Recently, right? Two years. Two years is recent, bro. This is like seven years, and, and he's just you know he's become he's become different. He changed. His wife has got him by the. Why don't you interview her? I feel like she'd be more interesting. What do you think, Essen? Go. Oh, your beer needs a bit. <laughs> That's the company. I'm saying all the views. <laughs> How about you, man? Where are you, where are you at? So he got grilled for his name by the Israeli authority, right? They're like, Azam Hussein. He's like, bro, I don't even know what, like, 
where I got this name, all this stuff. <laughs> I don't know anything. My parents just named me. The, then the funny thing is, we went to Aluxa, and right at the, in the front of the masjid, there's a blind man that sits, who oh. who grills, who literally grills you. Everyone. Is. Yeah, he's like, are you Muslim? And then if you're like, yeah, I am Muslim, then he'll be like, okay, say the surah, or like oh, no say that. Yeah, he like literally, and he's blind, man. That's and, but he can see you. It's crazy. Like he sees through your soul. <laughs> and, and your friend didn't know many like. Surahs. He didn't know anything, yeah. man. So he got grilled by the Israeli guys. But then he went there and he got grilled by the Palestinian guys. And he was like, Yo, I don't feel wanted here, man. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> say, can I have the? You know what's amazing about friendships? That unlike your blood relationships, these are selected by you. Imagine, out of the hundreds and thousands of people you met throughout your life. These are the individuals you've handpicked. The ones you laugh with, cry with, the ones you spend late hours into the night reminiscing the good times, the old times, and the ones you share your dreams with. Friendship, honest and genuine friendship, is a beautiful thing. Just ask somebody who doesn't have it. Alright boys, uh, we're ending the night. Last men standing. Mod, <laughs> Seth, Essen. Something very cool about just sitting out at night, the fire, and good friends, under the stars, the moon. It's very like peaceful. Highly recommend you guys just gotta get out of your house, get out of your air conditions. Actually, no, we're going to air conditioned house right now. <laughs> but just like, can you light me up? Because I'm a little dark. You won't go see me. That's because you're Indian. I know. So, and you know, I just love awesome being with racist friends. <laughs> just... No, not racist. It's just a <laughs> Yeah, I just like to say, yeah. stay safe. Stay safe. You guys look really comfortable together. It sounds like <laughs> you like to say it's Canada. Alright guys, it's like 9 a.m. Day two. And unfortunately we gotta bounce at like 11. So we got two hours to kinda do whatever. I think we got like five hours sleep, four or five hours. But some of the other guys got more sleep. It should be up, man. It should be up. We got to make the most of the next two hours. Maybe a rips for Nashta, but yeah, man. Definitely come down to this place. I'll put the link in the uh, description. But you gotta do it more than two days, man. There's too much to do here. We barely could kind of explore the whole thing. Uh, guys, uh, for people who want to plan a cottage trip or go out, what's the one thing they should keep in mind? Exactly. Everyone should do their part. Lots of food. Lots don't be food. don't be one of those people that does nothing. Okay. Because then no one will invite you the next time. Is that what you want to say, bro? Hey man, the key is to like help out just a little bit, a little bit, <laughs> and not do the entire thing. My thoughts are that uh, you gotta pick the right crew. You get stuck with the wrong people for like two days. It can be annoying. Uh, yeah, I think that's important. You gotta have the the right friends. You gotta bring a good Bavarchi with you. Look at him, he's just so fly. Just have a good time, man. Come with the right attitude, and it doesn't matter what you do or who you're with. Well, actually, it doesn't matter who you're with. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice as your life gets busier and your family grows, you'll see that the largest circle of friends you have will start getting smaller, right? And your list will start getting filtered. And that's okay. And I think the three important things to maintain friendships long-term, I believe, number one is to have low expectations. If you can manage your expectations with people, you'll get less disappointed. Number two is to understand your friends. And every friend is different, right? Some are better communicating through WhatsApp. Some are actually more the in-person type. Others are kind of out of sight, out of mind, or preoccupied in their lives. So try to understand your friends better and give them the benefit of the doubt. And finally, the most important one, if your spouse doesn't get along with one of your closest friend's spouse, then that's not gonna last long. I mean, that's, that's gonna be a big, big problem. So try and ensure that your husband or wife get along with your close friend, husband or wife. And that's a real talk, folks, for this episode. All right, that's the end of the day, but uh, this is definitely some place you gotta try out for sure. Uh, the company, the people make the trip. Stay true to your friends, come and go, people. Have a good time. Peace. Office, take care. Peace. Always watch E-Vlogs. E-Vlogs.